Hi everyone, uh, this is Michael here. So today, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to how you actually upgrade, update, or uh, upgrade, or update your HP Stream Seven to the Windows Ten False Creator Update, Fall Creators Update. Um, yeah, currently it's running on anniversary. Uh, what do you call that? Creators Update. So I'm gonna update, update it to False Creator Update using the uh, <coughs> down ISO that is downloaded to the USB thumb drive so uh, there will be another video uh, on the link above where I'll show you how you guys do a clean install of Windows 10 into the HP Stream Mini so let's just get on with it okay, right now we'll need to actually have the uh, ISO downloaded into the USB drive uh, for this one will be a 32 bit uh, ISO so what you need to do now is to have the OTG kind of like head connected to the USB so that you can actually connect to the HP Stream HP Stream 7 so so what you need to do now is to connect this to the this slot and you wait for the drive to come out on this end so you open file explorer go to this drive that you have as you see this Windows Home 32 ISO so what you need to do now is to right click on this and you do a mount so once it's mounted, then you just need to double click on the setup and do a yes. So what it does now is it will run and do an up upgrade of your current OS within the within the uh, HP Stream Seven itself to the new uh, fall creators update <clears throat> but as you know this stream 7 it's a bit slow so it might take a while for the setup to load and stuff and the overall process might take a long time so end of the day please make sure that your tablet is fully charged to enable that right so once it's get loaded you see then they will basically just say download and install the recommended you just <clears throat> this one you can this one you can uncheck for the I want to make in this one right so what you need to do is just click next and they'll be checking for updates and please make sure you have Wi-Fi connected as well just in case they need to actually check for any updates and stuff that they have okay so after the loading and checking of the stuff then they'll come up with this one so what you need to do is just to accept it and you'll choose what you need to keep and basically now they're checking for updates so as as long as you actually download it the um the iso one of the latest time i mean like i down i just make the iso like just now so the updates portion shouldn't be that much if you're asking me so it will save some time in that end so let's just wait for this thing to finish Okay, so once you have reached this screen, there are some options where you can actually do install Windows 10 Home, keep personal files and apps. So this this default setting is good if you are just upgrading your uh, Windows itself. So what you need to do next is just to click on install, and they will get uh, restarted in a few times while they will be installing. So for this one, I think you'll need to wait it out. It will take some time. So first, you'll need to complete this. Uh, this portion then they will boot up a few times in, in, in installing Windows 10 uh, fall creators update and it will be completed in a while but uh, as you know stream 7 it's a small device so and low processing power so it might take a while so just you need just be patient and the battery should be enough to last for the whole process of installation so you'll just need to leave it running and you'll be done in no time Okay, now once the installation has uh, completed, then they will boot up to this screen for the updates and stuff. So you just need to wait for the thing to finish, then your uh, HP Stream 7 will be fully updated with Windows Files Create Update.
So this will be another screen where they will do the updates on the screen. I think once this, this screen is completed, it will be booted back into the Windows login screen. And that's when it's done. So let's just wait it out. Okay, when you reach this screen, basically it's already finished updated. So here they will go through some setup stuff that you need to do then once the setup is done you'll be booted into your desktop and that's when everything is done okay once you completed the sign-in process you'll most basically be greeted with this screen so you just need to close it off and uh, logically it should look similar just that then will be there will be some differences in terms of the action center where things are a bit different right so uh, most of the stuff are the same. Uh, one reminder is that when you are doing this upgrade, please make sure that you have a full battery. Because the upgrade will take like 70% of the battery. So if you are like in the middle, you might have issues in, in terms of the upgrade, in terms of the minor batteries and stuff. Because I'm not too sure when you can pluck out the USB uh, from the US, uh, USB port. Making sure that we are doing it flawlessly, then please do have a full battery before you do this okay what a final thing before you like finish off the process will be you need to go to your you need to go to your uh, properties for, for, for your disk then you do a disk cleanup for me that's normally what I do with all this um, do with all this and set up installation because I'm, I won't actually roll back to the previous version so and and this HP stream mini itself it has limited space so what I did is uh, what I do normally will be to clean up all the stuff previous windows installations and stuff in order to free up some space so this is what I normally do and I do advise you to do it so they have more space to play around with your uh, with your tablet itself right so just wait out for this thing to finish and they will come up with a list of stuff that you can remove and just check everything and remove everything and then we are all clean up and there you go we have updated the okay let's check everything uh, it's a bit hard to check using this uh, finger actually but uh, I think it's still doable okay the major one is the previous windows installation that one took up a lot of sp take up a lot of space so once you have all the um, check boxes checked up, so what you need to do is just press OK and delete. Now, when you're deleting, they will prompt you, right? Uh, you can't actually revert back if you delete off the previous win Windows installations and stuff. So you just click on yes on that one. And yeah, just let it finish clean up and you'll have like roughly more around 10 gig of space back available for you to use right which is which is a good thing okay <clears throat> that's all for this video um, we are done I mean that's all for this video we are done that we are done with the uh, Windows files uh, Windows 10 files creators update I do have another video on the clean install meaning you are not doing an upgrade but you are doing a clean install to your HP stream 7 tablet that one is a bit more complicated than upgrade um, and you can visit the link uh, above to actually check that out that will be a clean install on hp stream 7 okay guys uh thank you for watching if you like what you're watching and do give do give the video a thumbs up and if you like what i'm doing uh please do subscribe to my channel and i appreciate that you do that and there'll be more videos come so that's all for now bye